When you encounter the phrase Jewish family and ownership by ultra-wealthy financiers, one name that likely comes to mind is the Rothschilds. These keywords loosely connect with the renowned Ashkenazi Jewish family. However, introducing the element of America into this narrative adds complexity. While the Rothschilds wielded considerable influence globally, their stronghold was primarily in Europe during their peak. In today's video, I won't solely be delving into the Rothschilds, but will also shed light on another Ashkenazi Jewish ultra-wealthy family dominating the financial sector in America. Additionally, I'll explore various Jewish families in the U.S. that have significantly impacted our lives across generations. The story of Goldman Sachs begins with Marcus Goldman, born into an Ashkenazi Jewish family on December 9, 1821, in Trapstadt. His father, Wolf Goldman, was a humble farmer and cattle dealer. During the revolutions of 1848 in Europe, Marcus Goldman made a bold decision to cross the Atlantic and seek opportunities in America, the land of opportunity. Upon arriving in America, Marcus Goldman's journey transformed. He started as a peddler navigating the bustling streets with a horse-drawn cart. Despite humble beginnings, he was determined to carve out his own path. In 1869, Marcus founded Marcus Goldman and Company in New York City, specializing in commercial paper transactions. The turning point for Goldman Sachs came in 1882 when Marcus invited his son-in-law, Samuel Sachs, to join the business. This led to the renaming of the firm as M. Goldman and Sachs. Over the years, the firm continued to thrive, with Marcus introducing his son, Henry, and son-in-law, Ludwig Drews, as junior partners in 1885. The firm's enduring name, Goldman Sachs and Company, was adopted during this period. Under Marcus Goldman's leadership and the subsequent generations, particularly Henry Goldman, Samuel Sachs, Arthur Sachs, and Paul Sachs, the firm became a powerhouse in the financial world. They played pivotal roles in the New York Stock Exchange, explored new frontiers in industrial financings, and led successful public offerings for iconic companies like Sears, Roebuck, and Company, Underwood Typewriter Company, B.F. Goodrich, and F.W. Woolworth. The Goldman Sachs legacy extended into the 20th century, marked by continuous innovation, adaptation to changing markets, and a commitment to excellence. The firm pioneered the use of commercial paper as a financing tool, played crucial roles in various mergers and acquisitions, and expanded globally by joining the London and Tokyo stock exchanges. The family's influence in Silicon Valley and real estate, owning properties like Rockefeller Center, showcased their diversified interests. In the mid-20s, Goldman Sachs ventured into consumer finance with the launch of GS Bank and Marcus by Goldman Sachs, demonstrating adaptability to the evolving financial landscape. Beyond their business achievements, the Goldman Sachs family has made a significant impact through philanthropy. Their charitable endeavors span education, healthcare, cultural institutions, and addressing social and environmental challenges. The family's commitment to creating a more equitable and sustainable world reflects their deep involvement in philanthropic activities. The Pritzker family, a prominent Jewish-American dynasty, has played a pivotal role in shaping America's business landscape through their entrepreneurial endeavors, commitment to innovation, and significant contributions to various industries. The roots of the Pritzker family trace back to Ukraine, where their ancestors laid the foundation for what would become the Pritzker family's American dream. Abram Nicholas Pritzker, born on January 6, 1896, and the patriarch of the family, was the son of Ukrainian Jewish immigrants, Annie P. and Nicholas J. Pritzker. Nicholas J. Pritzker's journey from Kev to Chicago in 1881 encapsulates the immigrant experience. Initially working as a pharmacist, his relentless pursuit of knowledge led him to graduate from DePaul University College of Law. Nicholas emphasized the importance of legacy, encapsulated in a family heirloom that highlighted the idea that one's only immortality is the impact they have on their successors. Abram Nicholas Pritzker, often affectionately known as Abe, became the torchbearer of the family's legacy. After completing his education at Harvard Law School, he, along with his brothers Harry and Jack, founded Pritzker and Pritzer, a law firm that became the cornerstone of their journey. Each Pritzker brother specialized in a distinct legal field, with Harry in criminal law, Abram in business law, and Jack in real estate law. The 1930s marked a significant turning point as Abram Pritzker, driven by ambition and innovation, ventured into new territory, 
Alongside his brother Jack, they explored real estate investments and small businesses in the vibrant city of Chicago, showcasing adaptability and foresight beyond the confines of the legal profession. Meanwhile, Harry Pritzker continued to oversee the law firm, which later evolved into an in-house entity exclusively serving the, the needs of the Pritzker family and their burgeoning business empire. The brothers achieved remarkable success in accumulating wealth, thanks in part to their savvy financial planning, establishing trusts that strategically managed and distributed their earnings. The legacy of Abram Nicholas Pritzker continued through his three accomplished sons, Jay Pritzker, Robert Pritzker, and Donald Pritzker. The second generation not only carried forward the family's legacy, but also reshaped the American business landscape. Jay Pritzker, the eldest son, possessed a vision that transformed the family's fortune. Dissatisfied with the modest beginnings of the Pritzker law firm overseen by Uncle Harry, Jay diversified the family's portfolio. Alongside his brother Robert, he ventured into the world of industry, creating the Marmon Group Holding Company, nurturing a portfolio of 60 diverse industrial corporations. Jay's most enduring legacy was the collaboration with his brother Donald in 1957, giving birth to the Hyatt Hotel chain. Their belief in a high-quality hotel near major airports proved successful, with the Hyatt Regency Atlanta becoming an instant architectural marvel and a model for future Hyatt hotels. Robert Pritzker, a brilliant industrial engineer, contributed not only to the family's business, but also to academia. Teaching at the Illinois Institute of Technology and later at the University of Chicago Graduate School of Business, Robert's classes emphasized real-world business takeovers, fostering creativity and independent thinking. Donald Pritzker, as the president of Hyatt, oversaw its transformation into the fifth largest hotel chain globally. His untimely passing left a significant impact on the family, but his contributions to the hospitality industry endured. The Pritzker family's entrepreneurial spirit extended to the third generation, represented by John A. Pritzker. Born in 1953, he continued the family's legacy by co-founding Mandara Spa, a chain of 72 resort spas. In 2005, he co-founded the private equity firm Giolo Capital, marking a new era for the family's involvement in investments in hospitality, entertainment, and health and wellness companies. Under John Pritzker's leadership, Giolo Capital acquired the iconic Carmel Valley Ranch in 2009 and a majority stake in the Joie de Vivre boutique hotel chain. This strategic move led to the formation of commune hotels and resorts in 2011, with John Pritzker and Jason Pomerank taking the helm as co-CEOs. Commune hotels' remarkable growth culminated in the merger with Destination Hotels in 2016, creating Two Roads Hospitality a hospitality powerhouse with over 97 hotels and annual revenues exceeding $2.3 billion. Penny Pritzker, the daughter of Donald Pritzker, added another dimension to the family's legacy. Serving as the 38th United States Secretary of Commerce in 2013, she founded Classic Residence by Hyatt in 1987, later renamed Vi. The Pritzker family's impact extended beyond business into philanthropy, with significant contributions to education, healthcare, cultural institutions, and addressing social and environmental challenges. Their dedication to making a positive impact in various domains reflects a commitment to the betterment of society. Journey the Fisher family's journey from humble message. beginnings in San Francisco to becoming a symbol of success in the arts and entrepreneurship is a testament to their entrepreneurial spirit and commitment to innovation. Donald Fisher and Doris Fisher, the founders of Gap Inc., revolutionized the fashion retail industry with the creation of The Gap in 1969. The family's dedication to contemporary Western art, exemplified by their impressive art collection, reflects their passion for cultural endeavors. Beyond retail, the Fisher family has been actively involved in sports, with John Fisher owning the Oakland Athletics and San Jose Earthquakes. Their multi-generational journey has not only contributed to the success of Gap Inc., but also solidified their position as influencers in American business. These families, from the Goldmans to the Pritzkers and Fishers, have not only achieved remarkable success in their respective fields, but have also left a lasting legacy through their philanthropic endeavors. Their stories embody the American dream, showcasing the possibilities that arise from hard work, innovation, and a commitment to making a positive impact on society. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click any card on your screen for more content like this, and I will meet you there.